just coming into Dalesford from the north, something different. We've got a Wombat State Forest day trip. Uh, normally we start at the south end and work our way north, so today we were already north, it's a long weekend, and thought we'd meet up, have a look at something different, and head south. And yes, you may have noticed I'm driving the 120, and no, it's it hasn't had the diff replaced, it hasn't been touched, and it's still whining away. I figured if it makes it back 5,000 k's from Cape York to Melbourne, it can do a few hundred k's around locally while we're waiting for that diff that should be coming this month. Hey everybody, we're headed out the Midland Highway A300. Um, and we're gonna head out to this hut. I haven't been there for many years, so I could get us lost. Um, a few k's up the road here. I think we turn onto Basalt Road, but I'm not too sure. We're gonna go out and have a look at this hut, see if it's still there. Turning right at Basalt Road. So we're headed out to this hut. If you wanna find it, the easiest way is probably put into Google Maps. It's called La Franchi Hut. La L.A. F-R-A-N-C-H-I. La Franchi Hut. You'll find it on Google Maps these days. A little bit of basic information. So if you put it in Google Maps, the track you're driving on, you can certainly drive in, or as we have now, um, in a standard Prado without any lift or any other modifications well, needed. And here is the hut that I'm a bit surprised nobody's here on a long weekend. It is Tuesday, cup day. Um, usually there's people out here, but they may have packed up. Pretty clean hut, isn't it? It's a proper hut. It's not some uh, built thing, you know, by uh, High Country Huts Association or anything like that. So for now, we've just uh, continued north along the track. It just splits off here, actually. It goes one track goes around to the right. This one goes to the left, exploring. We're just heading south now, we went north on some tracks and Followed around to the right, looking for a couple of more challenging ones, just for a bit of entertainment, to test out those four-wheel drives. But nothing really too challenging, just usual sort of cruisy around stuff. But we are heading along here to Stevenson's Hut, which is another hut along the perimeter of the forest here. This is the Stevenson's Hut area, and I believe it's, is that down there in the bushes there? I don't know what's left, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, it could be gone. I can't remember, have I been here before? I'm not sure, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway. Once again, I reckon if you put it in Google Maps, Stevenson's Hut, put it all in as stops if you want to do a bit of a hut run out here in Wombat State Forest. We'll have a quick look at it. Looks a little bit dilapidated, I think is the word we'll use for the video. I think that one's a little bit worn out. The renovators tonight, there, beautiful. Go <laughs> all you guys. Well, it's what's left of a hut, right? It's a good hut, you know. Yeah, you can't. Oh, up. look, you could camp in there. Like, you don't need to fix the roof. There's a natural tree branch that's falling there. Just put a couple of sheets back over it. Range first gear is definitely advisable. Nice, and, say, keep it nice and slow. Keep it nice and slow. Once, once you're coming down the hill, and keep a good distance between each other, allow some space. Once you're coming down the hill, allow some space between each other. Once you're coming down the hill, that's it. Nicely done. It is quite steep. Once again, the uh, camera won't do it any justice. But we've got tyres skidding. Yeah, 
yeah, without the lift, just pick your line a little bit coming down there and just come really slow. So low range first, 100%, and um, pick your line, just take it nice and slow. And we're going back up. It's a little bit rough. We'll see how it goes. Copy that. Nice dry conditions. Put it in second and second start coming up the hill is probably my recommendation. Less wheel spin. Come across the other side of the highway and weaved our way a few of the tracks. What was the track names that we just came through, Mitch? Can you think of any of them? Um, Back Wallaby that? track. Wallaby, one of them, yeah. What was before that? I don't know. Hey, it's just turns out we had to backtrack a little bit because the start of a railway track doesn't start there. Well, it might, but it's in between or part of a private property. I'm not sure if it's private or not, but the private property owners put a dangerous wire across the track about half a K down. So we decided to back up and go a different I'm way. Yeah, we want to get around. There's a railway track where you uh, drive down the old railway, been on it a couple of times. Can't remember exactly where it is, where it starts and finishes, but I'll find it. And I thought it might've been there, but um, so I'm not sure if part of it is private property or like I said, start of the track. Don't know, it just looks a bit it's on the map, so I don't know. Currently following Goldfield's track through, which will take us another way to hopefully the start of the official railway track. I reckon you need me to move out of your way. Boggy down there, we've had really dry conditions. Mud. This is the one on the standard suspension, no lift. And the Hilux must be coming down last. Bit mushy. Oh, there's the Hilux. I don't like mud, but we're here now. There's no real way around this one. We go into it slow and see what happens, or we can just smash through it. Mm, got through it that time. Anyway, air up and pack up time, but I just want to note I can dodge most of the mud, right? Look at that, clean. Right, we've got a mud line up to here and including over the headlight. What is going on there? Where did you find this mud? Oh, my goodness. No mucking around with a 1GD, right? Straight through. High tide on the uh, off-road animal. Beautiful. Stock standard. No uh, lift kit yet. No boggage. 
Beautiful. Needs a bit of a clean up though. Bit of mud. <laughs> 